Hi guys, and Cash Tool 476 here. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the outfit which is inside of the thumbnail, which is this really cool yellow Tron looking outfit. So in order to do this you do need to do a transfer. So this will start off by you wearing an outfit which you want to keep. So for me it's this checkerboard outfit with the IAA badge. So once you've got that outfit on you just want to come and delete all of your outfits. Then when you've done that you then just want to go into online and swap your character. Now you need to have a female character in your slot 1 and a male character in your slot 2. But I hadn't made a male character yet so as you can see there it's just a default character. So I just went onto that and started up a new one. Now it will come up with this alert about copying your rank, just copy that over. Now it doesn't matter at all what your character looks like because you will be deleting them later on. You can do this if you've already got an existing character but just keep in mind you will have to delete them. But once you have loaded into GTA 5 online, you will then want to start looking for a clothing store. Now if there aren't any clothing stores on your map, just switch session, find a new one, and then go to it. So then guys, this is the first outfit which you will need to be making for this outfit. So you, the first thing that you want to do is you want to come over to the pants section. Now when you're at the pants section, you then want to come down to the leather pants. And from there you want to put on the black leather low crotch, which is number 10. That material is imported. So once you've got that on, you then want to come over to the top section. When you're in the top section, you then want to go down to leather jackets, and you want to put on the leopard leather fur jacket, which is number 50. And when you've got that on, you then want to come down to business shirts, and you want to put on number 34, which is the ocean stripe shirt. And when you've got that on, you then want to come over to the shoe section. Then you want to go into sneakers, and you want to put on number 5, which is the cherry plain high tops. So once you've got those on, you then want to walk over to the accessories section. And when you're in the accessories, you then want to go down to ties, and you want to put on the navy skinny tie, which is number 47. And once you've got that on, you then want to go to the glove section, and you want to put on the light woodland tactical, which is number 12. So that's it for the first outfit, come and save that in slot 1 and then move over to slot 2 which is this outfit right here. So again first thing that you need to do is come over to the pants section and you want to have the same pants on if you haven't got them already they're in leather pants and they're on the black leather low crutch which is number 10. So once you've got those on you then want to come to the top section and then you want to put on the leather jacket which is the leopard leather fur jacket number 50 same as last time and then you want to come down to the tank top section and in tank tops you want to put on number 22 which is the yellow striped tank once you've got that on you want to come over to the shoe section shoes stay the exact same so you're going to sneakers and number five the cherry plain high tops now once you've got those on you then want to come back over to the accessories section Now once you're in the accessories section, you then want to go down to chains and you want to put on the gold magnetics necklace, which is number 22. So once you've got that on, you then want to put the same gloves on, which is the light woodland tactical gloves and number 12. So that's the second outfit, now we'll go on to the third and final one. So as you can see here, it looks like this, it's a bit different from the others, but there's still quite a few components which are the same. So first thing you want to do is come over to the pants section. And you want to go down to the leather pants and have the black leather low crutch. They stay the same throughout all three outfits. And you want to come over to the top section. And then you want to put on the, I think it's a fitted suit jacket. I got a bit lost here trying to look for it. But yeah, it's, no, just a normal suit jacket, number five, the purple long suit. And then once you've got that on, you can then come over to the shoe section. And then you want to put on the same shoes, which is in sneakers, number five. Now, I did actually miss out a component for the top, but I will go and link that down in the description down below. Um, all the pinned comments, just look down there for the missing component at the top. Um, but then you want to come over to accessories, and then you need to put on the red scarf. And the gloves stay the exact same. Now the component I was missing is that white shirt. I can't remember the exact name of it, but I will look into it and I will put it down in the description below. 
But yeah, that's it for the outfits. Now we can move on to the actual transfer stage. So then guys, once you have got those three outfits done and any other outfits which you wish to transfer over to your female character, then you just want to take the easy way out. Once you have done that, then you want to press options online and then go into the creator. Now you will need a Rockstar Social Club account for this, so make sure that you have one of those set up beforehand. But once you are in, then you just want to go on to create a race and then you want to do a land race. Now just fill out all of the required race details, that's a title, description and take a photo. So from there you want to change the maximum players to two, race type to point to point and put the class onto super. So once you've done that you then just want to make your way over to the airport and then you just want to place your trigger, do the lobby camera and then you need to do the checkpoints. So place the checkpoints on the starting uh, trigger. And from there, if you see in the bottom right corner, you will see the race length. It's like going up each time I press a checkpoint. And you need that to be between 0.71 to 0.73. So as you can see here, I'm just making sure that it's in that radius. So there you go, 0.73. There we go. That's the one I usually like to do, but you can do any one of those three. It works. So from there, you just want to come out and test your race. Now, as you can see, I'm just driving along it in the adder. But one thing that you need to know that I've noticed and I haven't heard anyone else talk about which I see as a higher success rate is make sure that you have the timer in the bottom right to be just over 30 seconds ignore my cat so from there you just want to uh, complete the race accept the alert and then press options and then go into choose character now once you are inside this choose character screen you will see your female character along with the male character we just made walk out now you want to delete the male character that has all the outfits on it, so as you can see there I'm deleting it and you have to type in delete but don't worry just do that but make sure you do do the male character and don't delete your female character. And then once you've done that you see a randomised default character walk out along with your female character. So from there just press circle and go back into story mode. And then once you are back inside story mode you just want to go straight back into online into an invite only session. Now once you are in the invite only session you then want to check what outfits you have and as you can see here this time it didn't actually work for me so then I had to go back and do it again. If your outfits say none then it hasn't worked and you may have to do it again. This does sometimes happen but yeah if it does just try again so as you can see here I've just loaded back in to my female character and as you see here I go straight away to check the outfits and as you can see all of the transferred outfits are there. So from there you just want to go to any clothing store, luckily I was really close by to one and then you just want to save the outfit that you're wearing as if you don't you will lose it. So make sure you save the outfit that you wanted to keep from the start. So as you can see here I'm going in to save it and yeah look you can see all of the different components there. So I just saved it, I can't remember what I saved it as, probably DM, I think I saved it as. Yeah, DM for director mode as I got that outfit from the director mode glitch. Link down in the description for how to do the director mode glitch. But yeah, so from there we can move on to actually making the outfit. So once you are ready to actually begin making this outfit shown in the thumbnail, you just want to come over to any clothing store, it doesn't matter which one, and you just want to go up to the front desk. Now when you're at the front desk you then want to look for the arena war outfits, bodysuits and you want to buy the first one as you can see here the yellow robot bodysuit. Now once you have that on you then just want to come outside and you want to start up the um, job. I will link it in the description it's the bookmarkable job so you will have to go onto your phone and bookmark it. As you can see there it's called it's a G thing. So just start that up and big shout out to my friend Josh who helped me do this. But when you're in, you just want to make sure that the outfits are on player owned or player saved. I don't remember which one it is. So from there, you just want to press right on the D-pad three times. And as you can see there, you will get this outfit here. So once you do have that outfit, you then just want to start the job, get you and whoever's in it with you. It could be a random, could be your friend. Just wait for them to ready up and as soon as you are in then you just want to make your way over to one of your apartments
So there will be some cars there just sitting for you. So just get in one of those and drive over to one of your apartments. So as you can see there, I've just gone in and I'm running down to the wardrobe. So when you are in, you just want to save the outfit that you have made. So as you can see there, I'm just saving it in an empty slot. Now once it is saved, then you can just come out of that and then you can just simply quit the job through your phone or the interaction menu. So once you have left, you will spawn back in with the outfit you used beforehand. So all you need to do is go into your interaction menu, style, and then change your outfit to where you saved it. So as you can see, this is the outfit that you are left with. Now there's still a bit of work needed to be done for this outfit, but I will show you all of that now. So then guys, for this part, you will need to have a heist coverall with this gas mask on. So just go into an apartment and then you want to equip it and then just go to a telescope. This can either be inside of the apartment or on the beach. And from there, you just want to do the telescope glitch and you want to equip the outfit which we just made. And as you will see, the gas mask will glitch from that onto the actual outfit we just made. So from there, you then just want to make your way outside of your apartment and you want to start up the mission Titan of a Job. So in order to start that mission, you just want to press options, go along to online, jobs, rockstar created, missions, and then it's the first one, Titan of a Job. Now you will sometimes spawn in wearing a balaclava and if you do do that then you just want to close your application and try again. But you can see there I was spawned in with the gas mask on. So just make your way over to any animation and ammunition store, sorry, and then you want to save the outfit. So once you have saved the outfit, then you just want to leave that mission again either through your phone or through the options menu and then as you will see when you load back in you will no longer have that weird shirt that didn't look very good glitching through so when you are back then you just want to take off the gas mask by putting on an earpiece and then you want to save the outfit again inside of your apartment and once you've done that, you then want to do the uh, telescope glitch to get a bulletproof helmet on it. So as you can see here, I'm just doing the telescope glitch. And I'm equipping the outfit. And then there we go, the bulletproof helmet is on. Now you can also get a yellow rebreather for this, but as this is a new character, I don't have an arcade to get the yellow rebreather, but I will be making a video on that shortly. Um, but yeah, that's it for this outfit. It does look pretty cool. Um... It's got like an invisible waist. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to check out the playlist for loads of videos like this. But thank you for watching. Goodbye.